Hey guys, it's Ben, and today we are doing Terrorizing Tech, the show where we take old tech and try and repurpose it to work with newer tech. So, today I've got this little Apple iPod stand, I guess you call it, and you plug in a older power cable here and it pretty much extends it to here so you can have your iPod standing there. It's also got a line out to where you can, I guess, listen through headphones through it, I guess. But so we're going to repurpose it because it was mainly built for an iPod such as these which are not as wide as an iPod Touch. So we are going to make this be able to be compatible with the iPod Touch, the older version. So let's unplug it. First thing you're going to need to do is flip it over to the back. And the thing is, you're going to see there's a sticker on the back. And so the tools you'll need actually are a flathead screwdriver. I'm using two different sizes and then a Phillips head screwdriver, which standard size. Um, standard size flathead will work but I'm using a standard size and a small one so the first thing you're going to want to do is pretty much just get this sticker off the back I have peeled started peeling this sticker off so it's peeling off relatively easy uh, even if you haven't touched one of these the thing you're the adapter thing you're using it should come off relatively easy so there's that sticker we if you want you can put it back on in the end so i'm just gonna put it over there and now take your bigger screwdriver start prying this out oh geez and pry it out there pry it out there there we go As you can see, prying this out was relatively easy. And there you go, there's just the casing. Put that off to the side. And now you are going to need your Phillips head screwdriver. Just take out these four screws. Looks like there's a slot for a fifth, but when I opened mine up, there wasn't a fifth. So there you go. Take out those four screws and then take out this metal piece. This fifth, this fourth one is kind of hard to get out. There we go, push those screws off to the side. You can also put your two screwdrivers, or three screwdrivers off to the side. Now we're gonna take this piece out and these kind of look like iron fists, or whatever you would call them. You could probably knock someone out with these on your fist. I'm not advising of you doing that, so. But, it's pretty cool that you can repurpose that and repurpose, repurpose this part. And so now, if you kept that sticker, now is the time you would put it back on. So, get your, flip it upside down. And as you guys can see, these four little slots, they're from the screws. Um, be careful if you ever put this back together, be careful putting the screws back in because they, they, if you put them in too tight, they will make these little indentions and they will go through onto the sticker. So you can see the four spots on the sticker. But anyway, we're just going to pop the sticker back on. If we can find out the proper way to get it on, I think that way. I might be mistaken. No, I'm not mistaken. Okay, sorry, talking to myself. Um, actually, I don't know if my stickers are gonna go back on, so I'm not even gonna deal with it. But now get your power cord, and I will show you guys that this works. So. Plug in your power cord and get your iPod Touch or iPhone 4S and under. 
So guys, thanks for watching me repurpose this desk stand thing. I will definitely be using this on my desk and things of that nature. But as always, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.